quick walkthrough on uh, Android 7, 7.1, and 7.2 settings. They're all very similar. Um, if you click on the settings icon, it will bring them up. You can also access your settings by dragging down from the top with your mouse and clicking on the settings icon also. Um, this is the standard for the TX3 Mini, but I've worked on a lot of other Android 7.1 boxes. They should all be very, very, very similar. Um, if they don't have this screen, they're probably all going to click in and go to this settings screen, which will pop up from the right-hand side. In here, you have options to change your network, choose Wi-Fi, connect via WPS if you have a quick connect router options, um, give you information about your Ethernet settings. If you wish to, you can change your display size. So I'm going to go back to here. Um, if you click on your just cell phone display, you can zoom in or out to change your screen size. This is helpful if you're not seeing everything on a screen. Most TVs which are out, usually it's at 90. Um, if it auto adjusts, it'll go right to the 100. You won't have to do it. You can change your audio output settings to PCMF, SPDF, and HDMI. Generally, auto is the best way to go. It, it will detect on its own. You can change your resolution depending on the type of TV that you have. Um, auto switch to best is always the best option to go, unless you have to force it to go into a 720 for an older TV. Uh, time zone, of course, you gotta check your time zone. Um, Eastern for everybody in uh, Ontario, and for BC, it's like minus 200 hours or whatever, just choose Richmond. Um, cable, you can determine whether you're connected or online. If you're having an issue with an internet connection, sometimes if you just come in here, choose off, and then choose on. It will resolve most issues, again, for wireless. Um, if you unplug your cable, you can choose your wireless options here. The restore setting, this resets your box. Do not click on this. I repeat, do not click on this. It creates a lot of unnecessary work. So if I never told you to factory reset your box, that's the button right there. All my tools are built in, but uh, unless I've told you to do it, expect to be charged for uh, me resetting it for you because you create a lot of unnecessary work. Uh, about again will tell you the version of your Android, model of your box, build date, those kind of things, how long your box has been up for and such. If you go to the more settings, you also have some options for accessibility. So I'm going to go to more settings. Um, CEC control, I generally recommend that people actually turn it off and keep it off. Um, and the reason being is CEC control causes nightmare issues with power controls and such. Um, if you want to look into any of your individual apps here, um, you have the option inside the settings to clear the data or clear the cache. It doesn't matter what you do. Usually you could press uh, clear the cache. It'll get rid of temporary files. And if you clear the data, it will delete all your settings for the app. So if your Facebook data had been in that app, there would no longer be anything. The same could be said for the updater. You can clear the cache or clear the data. You can clear cache and data on apps that don't require any user setups. If you're just having a problem with something opening, let's say your Kodi's not opening, you can click on Kodi and just click clear cache and then after that it should open just fine. If you're having a lot of issues with Kodi, if you wanted to, you could clear the data first and then run the update wizard, the green updater and such. That's another video. But this is about settings. Um, if you want notifications to be turned off on a particular app, you can turn them off on this way also. Um, one example would be for our good friends down here on, where are you, Terrarium TV. Uh, turn off the notifications if you don't want to harass me all the time. <laughs> because it's known to do it. You can also turn those off inside Terrarium themselves on the older version. With Android 7, you have the ability to uh, stop that in its tracks before it starts. So that's the app section. Storage and reset. Again, do not click on factory data reset unless I tell you to do it. There's no need, you're creating a lot of work. Um, if you go to the accessibility section, you can change to high contrast text, which makes things a little bit easier to read on your screen. Eh, doesn't really do a heck of a lot of things here. Like captions wouldn't directly be on most things, just the way that Android's set up. But if you do go to more settings, there is some Excel accessibility options here, which will be very helpful to people. Um, if you work your way down to, oh, it's in here somewhere, and there it is. Um, location, device, Google, backup, system, there it is, accessibility. You can change your font size to be larger. Um, generally, that's not a big deal, but what is a big deal is 
pointer size, which is down here. I'm going to large mouse pointer. See how big that got really quick? Um, that's very helpful if you have a hard time seeing the pointer on your screen. And that's global. So when you're using all these apps, you end up with a much larger pointer. And a lot of people have reported that as being very, very helpful. So to get to your settings again on Android 7.1, it's either here. You can always press plus choose an application and add another shortcut to your settings if you don't currently have it on the screen, which would be right here. And then you'd end up with two settings on your screen. Or you can click on the nine dots, scroll down and find the settings in here. Or sometimes it's under the utilities tab. So any questions or comments, leave them below. This is uh, your Android 7.1 settings.